Welcome to Last Word. I'm David Jenkins, Chris Popes. It's our third annual Wordies, our basketball Wordies. We're no longer babies. Out of diapers. We can walk and talk. Third annual. Third. Wordies. Word. See? Third annual. Wordy. See? W. See that? Like a three goggles. See what I did there? Doing the three goggles. Three goggles. Yeah, those. That's, they need to do away with the three goggles. But I love it. No, it's this now. Is it that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I don't. It might be something different now, but this is. Each week it changes, right? It does. I mean, I love it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. It's just sh act like three baby. Four. Three baby. I can. That's hit what threes. I do. It's not that impressive. That's what I do on two K. I, I can. I can hit threes. It's not that impressive. Take really, that. it's not. I can walk to the gym right now and hit a three pointer. It's not well, yeah. Point. I mean, eventually. Eventually, you know, I can shoot. Let's put somebody in front of you. Put somebody in guarding you. I've shot over you. I don't have a I'm 5'7". I'm 5'10". I can jump like two inches off the ground. I get an inch. Okay, then. I'm, you can't use me as an example as a defender. Well, I'm not an NBA player. You can't do that. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. You, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, anybody can hit a three good. uncontested. Their job. Their job. I can hit a three. With, Charlie can hit a three with uncontested. Their job is to shoot basketball. Exactly. They and they do it very well. And, but, so you don't have to give it a little In a big moment, moment like this, yeah, yeah. I'm okay with a little Big bit moment. of I'm three nothing. I'm okay with a little a little showboating here and there. Yeah. That's what basketball is. Whatever. It's breeded. It's like a, it's awards. a playground. We gotta get some playground awards. sport. A little trash talk. I'm okay awards. with a little bit. A little bit of talk. Now, if you get a little bored, that's 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 a different story. I'm a little bit. I'm, a, I'm okay with a little bit of talk. I'm gonna Gary Payton you on this thing. Do it, glove. Let's see what's going on. Wordies. Let's see how many Wordies. we got. Wait, let's, let's we're going back and forth there. Let's see, man. Uh, Picks are, are the same. Let's see how that goes. Probably so because all, you know, a, a lot, lot of picks them. are right. So you know, player of the year. Who's your player of the year in Southeast Missouri? W. Willie Jimerson. Well, that's a good pick. Willie, 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 Hilly, Willie, Hilly, Hilly Jimerson. Because my pick is Willie Jimerson. I yes. know that the uh, Semo Conference they chose Blake Reynolds mm -hmm. uh, from Jackson. Good player. You couldn't go wrong. I mean, you look You've at got that Fico Bogan. Five or six players you could have picked for this year's Samo Conference Player of the Year. You really could have. I, I think Blake Reynolds kind of shocked a lot of people with that pick. Um, I, he's a good player. I mean, he really, he's a great player. He really Quinn is. Quinn Poitras, yeah. another one. Quinn a good Poitras. player that could have been, I thought he was deserving of mm -hmm. it as well. You could go Del Finco Bogan just because of what he he was, that team, especially early on. I mean, he, he won them a lot of games. And, of course, later on they got better as a team and stuff like that. But Del Finco Bogan, is, I, he might be, between Willie and him, they're 1A, 1B as far as that goes, no matter whatever your preference is. But I'll take Del Finco Bogan any day of the week. <laughs> if, if Willie Jimerson's not available, I'll take, uh, I'll take Del Finco. That's uh, no problem. You know, last year, last year we gave it to Del Finco. Yeah. This year I'm giving it to Willie. I just thought he, he elevated his team. What just the points he scored. Yeah. I thought it was just he elevated his team. Um, you, know, you know, I think he defended well. Uh, a lot better this year than yeah. he did last year. The thing for me is his rebounding. I mean, he, mm -hmm. I think it was in the uh, Carbondale tournament where he got 17 rebounds yeah. against the team from Chicago, Morgan Park, who ended up finishing third over mm -hmm. in, in Class uh, 2A or whatever in Illinois or whatever you know their division was. Um, I, you know, that was impressive to me. It was just the way he rebounded the basketball, considering he was a guard. And I think, um, you know, for that, for that, he, he's my player of the year. Yeah, he really kind of rounded out his game this year. He's not a great shooter. I would have liked him to see him to, to extend out a little bit to the perimeter and be that, but that's just not his game. He's really uh, not a true point guard. He's not. I mean, he's, he's, not. A, he's a great player, but yeah. he's just not a true point guard. And they kind of made that transition between him and Javarcus Ward this year. They kind of gave him, let him play a little bit without the ball, but still in the big moments he had the ball in his hands. And, boy, he shined at big moments this year as far as he literally saved New Madrid season with, with two free throws literally. and that literally he literally saved New Madrid season with uh, two free throws and no time on the clock in overtime the most pressure packed situation in a basketball have, game you I've can imagine. I've only seen that happen one other time is whenever someone was shooting for it with no with nobody on the free throw line time expired one other time that was Anthony Bean mm -hmm. back in the I think it's 89-90 season whenever in the Steyer County tournament where he hit free throws to send it to overtime yeah. and uh, against mm -hmm. Puxico. That's all. Only two times I've ever seen that in a game and it, those are some pressure packed yeah. free throws that that you know that was just and he knocked him down. No doubt. No doubt. He, he led New Madrid to uh, him and a lot of other guys, don't, don't get me wrong, but uh, led him to a uh, third-place finish in Class 3. Nothing to sneeze about it as far as that goes. A bunch of good teams in, in Class 3 this year. And uh, New Madrid, just a, a great overall season, capped by a tremendous senior season by Willie Jimerson. Well, we, we'll transition from that to our coach of the year. Mm -hmm. For me, it was Travis Day of New Madrid. I thought uh, he did a great job. There was high expectations there. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, a lot of times it's like, well, they were expected to win, but... Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. There was a lot of pressure yeah. in, in that situation because, you know, they hadn't gotten past Charleston in a while, They had, you know, whether it be in districts mm-hmm. or wherever, and they hadn't, you know, they hadn't went very far in state in a while, and, and this was a team. If, yeah. if they didn't do it this year, they probably weren't going to do it, and uh, he, he put everything together. They had a close call against Charleston, and then they kind of rolled in and, and had, you know, had a chance in the semifinal game. It was a close game, and then I thought beat a very, very good team in the third place mm-hmm. game, and I thought uh, I thought he did a great job. I love the way he handled the team all year long, and uh, I, you know he's my coach of the year. Very very good pick as far as like, I'm gonna go with Paul Antoiner from Notre Dame, uh, coming in first year coach. You, you you talk about expectations. My goodness, Notre Dame just seniors everywhere. I think ten seniors, maybe twelve, something like that. You come in and you knew they were gonna be good this year just because last year and bringing everybody back, and you got one of the best players, Quinn Poitras, and a bunch of other key key components in that team. Uh, led them 27 and five on the year. Uh, third place finish. At, they, after their Sykeston loss, their horrendous loss oh, oh, at Sykeston, 30 yeah. point loss. I think they rattled off what 13, 14 games in a row, at, including the playoffs. Something like something like something that. Like that. It, it was a, just a crazy. But I mean, that they ended up beating a lot of people. Like they ended up they torched New Madrid even at, at home. They they beat Jackson. They went and beat uh, who else? They beat uh, they eventually went off and beat Sykeson in the district championship game. Well, they lost to Jackson in the uh, in the regular season. I think. Lost to Jackson in the beat regular season. The beat him in the Christmas tournament. That's right. But you know, I just for what Hunter Ryan was able to do, first year coach, second to a third place finish in oh, class right. four, and another tough uh, class once you got up there, uh, the, the final four. It's just he he did a tremendous job. I thought. You know, the thing with him too is you know. Coach Roberts did a good job with them you mm-hmm. know, over the years, uh, but you know he never won a district title. Yeah. He never yeah. won a district title. Never could get past Saxton. Unterreiner in his first year, first thing he does is get past yeah. Saxton, and that's that's not that's not only big for Notre Dame the school, that's big for him mm-hmm. and you know big for the kids coming up to see that that happened because yeah. it'd been a while before that uh, Notre Dame team had beat Saxton, and that's a that, that's a huge lift for that program. And I, I agree, that's a great pick. Yeah. Um, you know, either one of the. Either, either one of those coaches did a tremendous job this year. And there's some other coaches that did a good job. You know, no the Field, you know, a mm-hmm. lot of turmoil with Sykeson. You know, that at one point it looked like, you know, they were six and seven, if I'm, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken. It looked like things were going the wrong way, and he really turned them around and got them rolling. Um, he's, you know, he's another one. Uh, another one I think is Durden and Popper Bluff. Mm-hmm. Uh, Coach Durden did a great job over there. You know, he's doing a great job building that program. I thought they were a very good basketball team for most of the season. Mm-hmm. Uh, Coach Scott at Jackson, I, I think he doesn't really get a lot of the recognition he deserves. But I mean, you, you, you're the biggest school in, in the in the area. You're you're Jackson. You you year in and year out, you're one of the better teams. And I mean, to get as far as they did in Class Five, I, not many people realize what a, what a monster that Class Five is. And once you get once you get in that. That atmosphere, that playoff atmosphere with a bunch of uh, those teams, it's it's tough. But you know, he's he's a guy that just tremendous, just year in and year out, usually produces great great teams. And uh, we got a lot of good coaches around here. Of course, we've talked about that before. But uh, the coaches, uh, one of your coaches of the year was uh, was involved in my game of the year, and I think that's no it no has brainer. To be the game of the year. No brainer, the game of the year was Charleston New Madrid. Yeah, that there's it had everything. Yeah, there's if, if anybody who saw that game, if they say they saw a better game this year, they're lying. Yeah, <laughs> um, I, I just it was a tremendous, tremendous game, and you know I would love to sit here and argue with you over what was a better game, mm-hmm. but you know there's just I mean that was just the game had everything, it had free throws at the end, it had L- buzzer beating shots, <laughs> had free throws, it had overtimes, it had, it had drama. Yeah, you, know, you had you know, you know Delfinco fouling yeah. out early, you know midway through the fourth quarter. Or, you know, you know, early in the game, as mm-hmm. it turned out, you know, uh, you know, have to play without him, yeah. and you know, a lot of, you know, just a lot of, you know, a lot of calls that were just questionable mm-hmm. either way. They're just, you know, you, what were the sure? Every possession them? had it was just, just so intense. Yeah, the, <laughs> towards the end, the end of that game, you know, I was talking to people who had no interest in the game. They're not rooting for either mm-hmm. team. They're just watching the game, saying they were nervous. Yeah. They were just watching the game. They were getting nervous, and they weren't even at the game. They were watching online or something like that. You know, it, I mean, it, it was just, you know, uh, one of those games that we'll remember for a long, yeah. long time. Yeah, it's one of those, you know, it kind of put Willie Jimerson kind of, I mean, he was already on the map, but it kind of put him uh, put him up a little bit of a notch yeah. as far as that goes. And uh, unfortunate end for Delfinco, just kind of end his career like that. But, you know, he's going to go off to Jacksonville State. He's going to be fine. Uh, Willie's still undecided as far as that goes. But uh, one for the ages, I will say. I'll say one for the ages. It was an historical game. It was. It was. One. Uh, you know, rookie of the year. We got rookie of the year. Rookie of the year. I think, you know, it, it's the, you know, give it to a freshman or a first-time varsity Star- player. First-time varsity player, freshman, uh, what have you. We yeah. started this last year, so it, it, it'd be tough not to give it to Fred Thatch. I mean, you know, I think he's going to be an All-Stater. 
Uh, maybe. He, yeah, he didn't. He won the coaches all state. Uh, as far as that goes, that, that that's kind of a glaring miss, I think. He, yeah, I think he could have been a coaches all state selection. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not 18 and 18 12, and, I believe. 18, yeah. 18 and 12 as a freshman yeah. for Sykeston. You know, Sykeston plays a tough schedule. Yeah. He's going to be a good, good player, yeah. and I think uh, you know he's he's definitely the rookie of the year, no doubt. Um, Fred, a, as coming in as a freshman and just doing what he did against the competition that he did, um, nothing but good things for him in the future. Now, I know a lot of people think, well, you know, you can't really base this much. I mean, he, he's going to get the defensive attention now. I mean, he got it this year, but I, I don't want to say that he's just going to be this tremendous star coming out because, for one. He's a little bit hampered in the height <laughs> department. He's 6'1", six, 6'2", six, I think, something like that. Um, uh, he had a great freshman campaign. I, I hope he does he does well, and I think he will continue to do well. He's going to be a great high school player. Uh, it remains to be seen of how, how much how his potential will yeah. grow. A lot of comparisons being drawn between him and Michael Porter. Yeah, who yeah. Played. that's kind of what I was alluding to as far um, as that goes. You know, Michael was a little bit taller. Yeah, he was. Know, so he had a little bit more. But, but you know, uh, Fred Thatch at the end of the season was starting to show some range, mm -hmm. uh, hit some threes. and. And if he does that, and he's just a freshman. That's the difference uh, with between him and Mike. Michael's purely post guy, right. uh, and Fred he can he can you can right. sh you can see he can extend and, a little and bit. With his size, he's not as big. He's going to have to. He's strong mm -hmm. though. I think he's going to be. I think he's going to be an exceptional high school player. And I think he's got a chance to be a very good college player. I think um, you know I, you know people are already you know talking to him you know mm -hmm. college wise. So uh, it's a you know I think. He's going to be a tremendous player. He's definitely got to be the freshman of the year. Oh, no or doubt. Or rookie of the year. No, no question. Um, you know, so we'll go from that to the best team. Now, maybe there's some debate here because there's no right answer. I'm debating between myself with this best I mean, team. I'm going to say Notre Dame. Only Ugh. because at the end of the year, I thought they were playing better than anybody. They, uh, you know, I know they lost to Jackson by like 16 or something, you know, in the regular season, but they beat them in the Christmas mm -hmm. tournament. Uh, you know, them coming back and beating Sykes and handling them and then going on to the Final Four, finishing – Finishing third, I think I just think it's Notre Dame. I, I really do. I, I, I can't argue it. I really can't. But you um, can also you know, name somebody else. I, I, I can, can say. say well, <laughs> that's a good point. I mean, just just what pops out is just New Madrid. Um, them the the season that they had, just the 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 run that they had, the finish that they had. You could also you could say Jackson. I mean, you no, could say Jackson, you know, they, made, they made the quarterfinals you know, <laughs> yeah. in Class Five, which is very difficult. You have, could any of these other teams made the quarterfinals in Class Five? Yeah. That's a, and that's a you know who knows. De I don't. Definitively, I'm going to say New Madrid. I'm going to say New Madrid, and I'm going to go on a hypothetical here because the Jackson, Notre Dame, and New Madrid they all finish uh, top three in the conference as far as record goes. Um, New Madrid didn't get play Sykeson. Mm -hmm. I think they would have beat Sykeson, which would have gave them the Ultimate SEMO Conference crown. I think they would have beat Sykes, and if they had played, they would beat I think they would, and that's that's why I say that they're they're they're, they're the best team of, of I, team of the, of 2014-2015 season. I'll just throw this out: Notre Dame beat them at. I know, Rangers. I know, but, but but Notre Dame got beat by 30 with Sykes and your team. Yeah, right. You know, <laughs> look, See, this is the thing about it, the SEMO Conference. It, it, and, well, this this whole year, yeah. anybody could beat anybody, and and did. Yeah, you know, and did. So and my like, team was beat by Scott Central, the Class Two State Champions. We didn't even mention them. So Scott Central is the best team. It could be, could be, could be. I don't think. I don't think that. they. No, they got blistered by Cape and Jackson. Notre Dame, they lost by ten, I believe. I, I think Sykes. I don't know if the how they would have done against Sykes this year. I don't think. I, I don't. I don't know. Close. I think it'd been close. It, it would have been, been a blowout. Play uh, that game, guys. Please. Play <laughs> well, maybe not. Maybe not now. I play it. Well, Scott Central don't want to play it now. I say, Scott Central is not going to be. But, you know. <laughs> but I still play. think. Just let's play. play it. Let's go ahead and play it. Let's, let's do it. We're going to the gym right let's now. Let's do it. Play. And we'll have the last last word. Wordies edition. Game of the year. We want to see. So the like the rivalry brought to you by the last word. The rivalry recreated. Yes. Yes. In, in, anything? Any other categories you want to throw out there? Um, you know, uh, we talked more about boys. Uh, Got to say just one last thing about Sykes and girls, what they did this season, and Coach Shonoff, what he did. Uh, you know, Dexter girls, again, just yeah. dominating. Coach Shonoff, we had a girls category. He would be the coach of the year. Yeah. Dexter girls when they dominate all the other categories. Yeah. Melanie McEwen, a great player. They've got two great freshmen mm -hmm. in uh, Garrison and, and Thurman. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to be good for years to yeah. come. That's, and that, and, and 
Sykes and Young. So yeah. it's going those those two teams are going to clash, and then you throw in Notre Dame, who's got some young kids. Yeah. So it's, that's going to be a very good district for years to come, right, right there. Saxony Lutheran, who still Saxony. got all their girls, and uh, they got beat by the year. state champion Park Hill Central. Yeah, yeah, they'll be very good next year, and next year they'll be their chance, I think, to make a run of the state title. So I don't want to say goodbye to basketball, but I'm going to have to because this is the last one we're going to do about basketball. Well, you know, we've got uh, we've got some some Rib City shootouts. We got Rib City. We got BA All Star. Yeah, we got we that. Had, we had the BA All Star yeah. game this weekend. Uh, you know, show up and I'll be there taking some pictures. Say hi. Uh, uh, you know, it's a good good chance to look at all the punch best. Punch him in the seniors. throat. I don't punch me in the throat, but don't come up to me and do the free <laughs> sign either. <laughs> yeah, if you see Jake taking pictures, do this. Uh-huh. Let's do that. Let's, let's not do that. Let's do that. Hey, hey, Jake, take a picture of this. Yeah. Do that. You do will that. get your picture taken. Do it. Not let me you. know. Hit me up on Twitter. You'll get a shout out. I promise. You just let me know. Let me know. So maybe do we'll, it. Maybe we'll see you guys do out there it. with your little threes. Eh. We'll see you guys next week on the last word. <laughs>